Hey guys, this is Shiny Zachar, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to include us doing the dojo, but make sure your inventory is empty because I will mention right now, you cannot enter the dojo if you have any items on you. First off, we're going to be doing all three of the dojos in this video, and I wanted to explain something about mystery eggs that... I think I didn't explain, and I can't remember what it is now that I was going to explain about mystery eggs. Oh, mystery eggs. They can get sticky, which means that they cannot hatch. However, even if the egg that's closest to the first slot in your inventory is sticky, you cannot hatch it, and no other eggs will hatch. So, just a fair warning, make sure that the egg out in front is not sticky and it's what you want it to be. And you cannot lose mystery eggs. I forgot to mention in dungeons, if you die, you lose items and poke you have on you. However, mystery eggs can never be lost and they can never be sold unless you give them to Togekiss. With that out of the way, the first uh, dojo we're going to do is over here, the bronze dojo. As you can see, we can't record or uh, we can't recruit any Pokemon in the dungeon, so we'll just go on. This is a very easy one. I really should have covered these dojos earlier on, but the problem is, is I wanted to get at least a little bit stronger because the silver and the gold dojos, which we again are going to do in this video, they are a lot tougher than this one's going to be. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Weird. But to go along with how long this is, the bronze dojo is only five floors long and has a boss. All three dojos have bosses, but and they vary on length. Every time you go up a dojo, so like after you beat bronze dojo, for example, you get um, to unlock the next one. So bronze, after you beat it, you unlock silver. Every new um, dojo you unlock has four more floors and a little bit of a tougher boss. So for example, Bronze Dojo, like I said, has five floors. The Silver Dojo is going to have nine floors, which I'll make sure to mention when I actually go to do these, do these dojos. And the Gold Dojo has 13 floors. So, yeah, I, like I said, I will make sure to mention it again once we actually get... Oh, okay, Warp Trap. But I'll make sure to mention it again once we actually get to those dojos. But for now, let's focus on completing the bronze dojo. So as you can see, it's really just first stage evolution Pokemon. Not really the hardest thing to deal with. This dojo is mainly recommended for anyone that's between levels 10 and 15. Because it's not really that difficult of a place and you can quite easily train uh, in here. Now if I can actually find the stairs that would be amazing it, and watch it's gonna be like up in a wait no I went up this corner already. Well you guys get to see how I'm failing to find one. Oh of course the room I thought didn't exist the bottom left room is actually a room and it's what we needed in order to move on. Wow. Good going me. Now you see here there is a little bit of weather, and that is because there's a certain Pokemon on these floors that can actually cause this weather. And if we can find it, I'll show it. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention a friend of mine, or uh, somebody named Richard G decided to give me a dark pulse that I was hoping for from the boxes of um, jailbreak I was hoping to get dark pulse but I didn't get it however Richard G was nice enough to give me one so I got dark pulse on my hound doom now as you can see it's a two tile AOE so it's a very nice special dark move we have now so anyways let's uh not dilly dally anymore because I was just trying to do a little bit of training. Um, well, let's go into the boss. We have Medicham. Oh, 
Hehe, <laughs> another challenger? Wow, I'm in for a treat. This will sure be interesting, yes? Hehe, <laughs> ho, I'm in charge of the first dojo. Demonstrate your worth and you should, shall be allowed to proceed to the next dojo. Hehe, <laughs> ho, I make use of psychic and fighting moves. Concentration and focus is mandatory. Heh, <laughs> yes, watch closely. And all the warps. That's only a glimpse of what I can do. Heh, <laughs> now let's see what you have in store. Ho, <laughs> let's go. And as you can see, two hits kills it. Ho, <laughs> ho, heh. I've lost. You're indeed ready now, Shining Sacrum. I can feel it. Heh. Ho heh. Yes, I wish you nothing but the best for the challenges that await you. Ho. Claps away. I'll be off now. And he just warps around. Our paths will indeed cross again. I'm certain. Ho. Heh heh. Yes. Yes. And just like that, we have beaten the Bronze Dojo. As you can see, there's like some items around, but... Even if you had a ghost type, you can't really get to them at all. So, that is the Bronze Dojo. I'm going to sell some items, and I will meet you guys back for Silver Dojo. See you guys then. Hey guys, this is Shiny Zachram, and welcome back for the Silver Dojo. Oh. So, it's yet another dojo. You can't bring in any items, so make sure that you don't do that. And uh, you can't re recruit any Pokemon again, so just be wary of that. Anyways, let's uh, do it. So, like I mentioned in the last part, there are three dojos we're going to be doing. Bronze, Silver, and Gold. Bronze Dojo was five floors and had a boss of Metacham. This time around, we have a Silver Dojo. This one is nine floors instead of five, because as I mentioned, every... Dojo has four more floors to it. So, since the last one had five, add four. We got nine floors this time. And the Pokemon will get more difficult. There's mainly electric types and um, ground types here, with the addition of a few bug types. So, as you see, I'm kind of like one of the worst options for this. I'm my Stormy right now. But the reason I wouldn't use Aaron is, uh, there's actually something kind of bad, and that's the Magnemites with Magnet Pull, which anytime I get hit by them, I'm going to get, you know, oh, and there goes my Lepa Berry, mean Burmy, mean, I stepped on Trip Trap, oh. Oh, and this is perfect timing, as you see, there's a Q bone here. Now, Silver Dojo has something unique to it. If you have a ghost type, oh boy, that's not good. I am probably going to, I am probably going to, I am probably going to. No, I didn't. Aaron lives. Aaron lives. Um, as I was going to say, though, um, as we saw, there was a Q-bone here. On the higher floors, which is, I believe, 5 through 9 is where you can find them. I'm not entirely confident, but... I know for a fact that Cubone eggs can be a sparkle in the wall here. This is basically the only place besides your starter where you can get Cubone. So if you're looking to get a Cubone for your team for any reason, this is the place you have to go for it. And I need to switch because I am not fond of Magnemites. I think what we're going to do is actually go to Houndoom. Houndoom's probably got the best bet of getting through here if anything. But yeah, we just gotta get through nine floors, you see the Q-bones, and uh, yeah, so pick up any cherry berries. You can have a chance to find Petrus guards in here, since you kind of saw the whole paralysis thing. Just make sure you're on top of everything, though, because you can really get targeted very quickly in here. Alright, so we're on 4F, so we're halfway there. You can also find escape orbs, so if you find one and think this dungeon's just a little bit tough, you can get out of here. Which, as you saw there, now we have evol an evolved Pokemon. We have Luxio and Wormadams now. And I'm so glad I have the early bird ability there. Because that would have gotten me into some really deep trouble if I was not prepared. Oh boy. That's a... Uh, Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, run away, run away. 
Oh boy, I might be dead. Yep. I had a feeling something like this was going to happen. Now we just got to spam rock slide so we can get out of this safely. Whew. And there's Arido, son of a gun. We should have just kept the hound him out. But yeah, you guys can see it got a very apparent difficulty spike just out of nowhere with that. So definitely be careful on these layer fours. You saw that I was getting bug bitten like no tomorrow. But we still should have enough PP items and whatnot to be able to get through. And now you see magnetons and manetrics in here as well. So definitely make sure you are on your game. And you're paying attention because the difficulty spikes and you can feel that spike. Alright, so we're on 8F, so we almost made it out. Just got a couple more floors here. Oh, and you see sand slashes here too. Uh-oh. 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 Are we going to make... Oh, we made it. Let's kill you just because... Whew. Good job, Aaron, there. My goodness. And let's move on to 9F. We're almost... Oh, we are going to run for... As you saw, there was Mothman instead of Wormadam. Now we are at the boss, which is... Lucario. Hmm. I've been expecting you for quite a while now, shiny Zekrom. I'm fairly interested in your progress. I, Lucario, am in charge of the second dojo and will be testing your skills for now. Speed, agility, and a clear-cut understanding of the battlefield. That, that is what victory is all about. Now, let's get down to it. Here I come, shiny Zekrom. So now we fight Lucario, which, as you can see, Lucario is not that tough compared to the Pokemon in the dungeon. I would say the Pokemon in the dungeon are more difficult than that. But anyways, hmm, I am pleased with the results. You have a lot of potential. Feel free to stop by later. I am always up for a fight. And just like that, we have completed the Silver Dojo. And as you can see, nice ending. So we get that, and if we come up here, we can now access the Gold Dojo. So as per usual, I'm going to quick sell off my items, get Starmie back, and we are going to try the Gold Dojo. So I will see you guys then. Hey guys, this is Shiny Zekrom, and welcome back for the Gold Dojo. This is my fourth recording because I've died the three previous runs one of which I even made it to 13F which is the last floor so this place is 13 floors and I died because Water Pulse got me twice from Spindas that are in here and it was just a bad floor spawn too really just stop Spinda please I just want to get through this place but um yeah, 13 floors, and as you see, there's Meditates here, and you can actually find the rags in here. They are floors 8 plus and can appear on the water, visible, or on walls, invisible. Of course, you can have the Sparkle Mechanic, which I should explain on video. The Sparkle Mechanic is, you will see at, um, in some dungeons that the ground or the wall will sparkle. This means that there is an item where that sparkle is. Now, the important thing about these sparkles is later on in um, more difficult dungeons, there's going to be a specific item that you can only find by these sparkles on higher floors. So you'll want to make sure you remember that. Um, but yeah, it was funny because the reason I know it's on water is I actually found one on the water 8F of my first run but unfortunately my Starmie had died beforehand so I could not pick it up it was really disappointing because it was like oh my god I could have hatched I could have got the earliest possible starter because I think that is pretty much the earliest you could find a starter at is this dungeon right here this one or the gold the silver dojo. Wow, 
I narrowly escaped that one. Whew. Recover that HP, because we so need it right now. Run, 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 run. Alright. We're going to equip this, because defense scarfs are going to be very useful. And on ADEF, we start seeing stunkies. Now, what's bad about these is the aftermath ability it has is a one-tile AoE, meaning anything in that one-tile range is going to get hit even allies so just be careful of them we're gonna equip this defense scarf just so we have more defense even though most Pokemon here are actually special attackers like the Loudred and Wismer families and whatnot but we're gonna keep going and keep trekking on we're almost there we're on 9F I wanna get out of here and I wanna call this place completed now if oh oh my god no, 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 no. Oh, no. Let me attack. Oh, my God. I swear if this is the end of me, I am literally quitting. Uh, ha, ha. Of course we lost Tom Doom. That's not rest. It's quick. Rest up with Starmie here. Let's continue on since I really don't know what else I could say. I'm kind of awestruck the fact that that happened. That spawn happened out of nowhere and it got me killed. But yeah, this place is, n as you can see, difficult. And the reason why you see some of my Pokemon are level 29, like Starmie and Houndoomar and Aaron is, well, this is why. I have kept leveling up in this place. But I can just not whatsoever complete this place, so I keep repeatedly, you know, dying and I have to restart recording over with and everything. Because I don't like to show failure recordings, but if I really, um, yeah, I just don't want to. Wow, that was glitchy. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Really now? Alright, we're gonna take a little detour and we're gonna. Oh, I so need this on Grotto right now. Take that, get rid of this. And whatever else that. I'm sticky so I can't use that. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do this. Alright. Let's continue on now that we're actually in a decent enough spot. So we'll have to kill this stuff. And we hit level 29 on Grotto. So three levels to go before we evolve. Sweet. I have a feeling that the stairs are going to be down there. Oh, they're not. But I'll just kill this stuff anyways. See, Aftermath even affected the other wild Pokemon, even though it's technically an ally. Stairs down here. Oh, we're gonna have to fight our way. And they aren't down here. Shoot. And Pokemon, I also forgot to mention, are really non stop spawners in here. You will see them constantly spawn. So make sure you're paying attention to everything. Right, we're just going to run into the stairs. Ooh, this is good. We are going to... Oh, stop it. No. Oh, I don't want to I don't want to die here, please. I'm an innocent grottle. Here, let's eat the slapa berry we just found and continue trekking out. That is hyper voice. Be careful of that. Now we're gonna take a little cheat here and oh, it's up there. We're still gonna go. Oh my god, 
we uh, this is a tough spot. I just gotta keep killing things. It looks like is our way up there is blocked and I see up there are the stairs. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys have icy wind, making this more difficult. And we are gonna quick take a rest. And we're gonna have to start shooting some bubble beams up there. Because we are not getting past otherwise. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is what happens if um, you can't kill anything, is we have to keep using our PP to kill everything. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is just start spamming bubble beams up there and kill some stuff. So we actually have a chance to get through. Actually, gonna do this. Uh, assurance. No. Recover HP. Oh, we have like barely any freaking HP though. So we just gotta keep shooting these razor leaves off. Now we gotta bite. Oh, that crit really helped because this thing's been spamming defense girl. All right. After that long sequence, we made it to 13F, and we're probably going to die here. Oh my god, of course. What the... Uh, at least we got the fighting type out of the way, so hopefully we can get Aaron to kill these guys. Just so it can't. Uh. All right. And as you can see, explodes made their way up. <sighs> oh no 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 no! No, don't make your way yet. Okay. All right. Come on, we can do this. Yes, Aaron. And our stairs are right over there. We just gotta get the scum tank killed. Kill this barret in the Sorry about that heat of the moment. But we've made it to the boss at last. Marowak. Ah, young grasshopper. I'm happy to see you have finally made it here. You have indeed climbed the ropes incredibly, but now you must put your skills to the ultimate test. I, your sensei, now challenge you. Impress me. Young and Grasshopper. Hiya! So now we're gonna just hopefully headbutt flinch him. We got him! We finally completed the gold dojo. Now, after you complete it, you have this little bit. Do not head straight into both warps. Take either the left or right side of it. Hit that warp. Hit this warp. Do not hit this warp and come up and you get one tiny mushroom. So if you can do this repeatedly on runs, you can get lots and lots of tiny mushrooms. Now, now that we have Gold Dojo beat, there is something we can actually do. However, I will have to meet you guys when I am ready because, unfortunately, I need one more item in order for this to happen. So, hopefully I can meet you guys back when I get this item that I need. So I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, Shenyu Zach, I'm back. And the feature I'm going to show off is, nonetheless, the Crow Gunk Swap Shop. Because now that we've beaten the Gold Dojo, we can come into Crow Gunk Swap Shop. So, the thing about the Crow Gunk Swap Shop is there's two different ways you can get Star 3 items. One example is having a complete set of items. So for example, I have the Grotto Claw and the Grotto Twig. I also need the Grotto Crest, but unfortunately there is something I forgot to explain. If you are normal or bronze rank, you can pick up Star 1 items. 
However, if you are not silver rank, so if you're normal or bronze rank, you cannot pick up star 2 items. So two star items, you have to be silver rank in order to pick up. Now, this kind of goes the same for star 3 items. If you are not gold rank, so if you're normal, bronze, or even silver, you cannot pick up star 3 items. So if you're normal or bronze, do not drop star 2 items. And if you are not gold rank, if you're normal, bronze, or silver, make sure you do not drop your star 3 items. Because you will not be able to pick them up and anybody can. So we're going to talk to Krogunk here and I will show a perfect example. So what we're going to do is, since Aaron has a 4 times weakness to fighting, if we go to Aaron and get the Iron Helmet, we can swap any 5 different exclusive items and it will cost 5,000 poke per exchange. This will also be the same for star 3 items that you have to turn in a set of items. So like if I was to turn a Grattle Twig, a Grattle Claw, and a Grattle Crest, I would still have to pay 5,000 poke as well. So let's do it and after you exchange you'll see a little sparkle and that's when you know it's successful. So make sure you click cancel and also Whenever you trade your family items in, make sure you store your star 3 items because that counts as a different exclusive item. So you have the potential to lose your star 3 item you just got because you weren't paying attention with your exclusive items. So as you can see, we have the Iron Helmet, which it's for the Agron family, and we can now absorb fighting type moves that we normally couldn't before with Aeron. So whenever we use Aeron in dungeons, an Iron Helmet would be an awesome thing to bring along in case we run into any fighting type moves. So this is the last thing I was going to show off in this video. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching us. Uh, we went, th or for watching me, we went through the bronze, silver, and gold dojos, and we talked a little bit about the Krogung Swap Shop. In the next video, make sure you have HM Cut ready. And make sure you have some supplies ready because we are actually going to go to our longest dungeon yet called Honey Drop Meadow. So I will see you guys then.